Well, when he was a youngster, David Hawk saw pictures of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and he said, I can do that. Well, that attitude helped him become a world-class bodybuilder and Mr. Universe. And now David wants to help you get into the best shape of your life. When David Hawk was only 17, he won the Teenage Mr. Pittsburgh competition. Bodybuilding became his lifelong passion, and David went on to capture the Mr. USA, Mr. World, and Mr. Universe titles. For the last 20 years, David has helped others stay in shape through proper nutrition and exercise. Today, he's a grandfather, but being fit is still a priority. He'll show you how to spring into a healthy exercise program that'll benefit you for life. Well, he's a dear friend as well. It's a pleasure to welcome back to the 700 Club former Mr. Universe, David Hawk. David, great to see you. Thank you very much, Pat. Thank Glad you. to be back. You have been helping so many people with diet, nutrition, exercise. You have a weekly column. Uh, is it weekly, monthly, whatever? It's a monthly column, monthly column. with uh, Muscle and Body Magazine, yeah. yes. What's the secret? Well, the secret is um, basically uh, having a little bit of dedication in your life, mm -hmm. you know, setting some goals, uh, following that path to uh, staying healthy. Here's the thing you have to remember. You have to take care of yourself and you have to be happy with yourself so you can be happy with others. Mm -hmm. And um, in turn, you know, following a regular fitness regimen, even if it's just five to 10 minutes a day, is going to help you in that path to being you successful. Know, I'm happy with myself, but I don't have muscles like you do. Well, <laughs> So, so what's the secret? Well, the secret is that everybody should do a little bit, and not just cardio, but do some strength training. And yes. strength training builds muscle. When you build muscle, you burn calories more effectively. Okay. And as you get older, you know, it, it's going to help you move around a lot easier. So, well, what about uh, you? You say, as I understand, that the diet is much more important than exercise. The exercise yeah. is just a fraction of your time. Yeah, here's the way people need to break it down is that when you exercise, if you're most <clears throat> people who train, they try to get in at least 45 minutes to an hour a day mm -hmm. out of a 24 hour period, and your diet. You know, that's 22 hours of the day, basically, mm -hmm. 22, 23. So what you consume in depends on how you're going to look on the outside. So you have to be very cognizant of what you're putting in your body so that uh, you can stay in shape and stay healthy. Very similar to, um, I've read your, you know, Pat's diet. And yeah. it's, as I've mentioned it before, it's very similar to a bodybuilding program. It may not be a bodybuilding program, but it's an excellent way to stay healthy and fit. Well, I, and I, I copied it from some of the things I read about <laughs> the bodybuilders. So it, it's, it's, the, it's the heavy uh, protein, yeah, and a certain amount of fat. And yeah, it's, it's, it's having a balance, having a higher protein content, a moderate use of carbohydrates mm -hmm. and good healthy fats. You know, using, you know, moderate carbs and healthy fats to have some en energy, but mainly protein to stabilize muscle tissue. And when you can build muscle, see, a lot of people have a tendency to um, just starve. And starvation actually breaks down muscle tissue. And by taking in protein, protein helps preserve the muscle. It makes the muscle stronger and it helps your body kick up its metabolism so you can burn more calories. So if you can burn more calories, you can burn more fat and in turn get into better shape. So a higher protein diet is very important. What about, uh, do you go for the six small meals a day routine or? Yeah, something? it's, yeah, it's uh, basically you need to, you know, constantly be feeding yourself, whether it's five to six meals a day. Yeah. The smaller meals actually cause your body to, you know, um, follow a certain regimen. Here's the thing, if you eat in the morning mm -hmm. um, and you don't eat until night, your body will store more calories from just that one meal uh -huh. if you don't eat again. If you I eat in between, you know, and have, you know, five to six meals a day, your body's going to utilize calories more effectively. So you keep the fire burning in Keep a the sense. fire burning, yes. Yeah. You keep your metabolism going and basically your body comes accustomed to eating more smaller meals a day. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, you can actually eat more and get in better shape. It's a kind of like eat yourself silly diet. Well, that's what I like. Eat yourself silly. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were reading the literature. What, what about your exercise? Do you do it in the morning? You do it at noon? You do it at night? Does it make any difference? Well, it really depends on somebody's schedule. The mm -hmm. most ideal time to exercise is in the morning if you can on an empty stomach because you're going to put your body in a better calorie burning process. Mm -hmm. uh, because your stomach's empty, you can utilize the any energy that's been stored up in, into the fat tissue or into the muscle tissue, so you can burn through that first and then work off of the excess fat that's in the bloodstream to get that out. 
So it's actually better to train in the morning mm -hmm. on an empty stomach. But if you can't, you can still stay on a good regimen throughout the day and then in the evening, still work out hard and, and burn calories effectively. A lot of people are going over the, over the edge, if I can use that term, as they're moving into uh, senior citizen status. They're getting to be 60, 65. Mm -hmm. Some of them are a youthful grandfather. But what do, what do you tell people? Does it, does it make any difference how old they are? It... No, uh, fitness can be done at any age. The yeah. basic thing is, you, you know, you certainly have to meet with your uh, physician first to make sure that you are healthy enough to exercise. But even getting in five minutes a day, doing a little bit of work is yeah. going to stimulate the metabolism, make the body stronger, and uh, that's what we're going to actually show a few tips on how to... Well, you and Christy, it's cold outside, and you're going outside, and I, I appreciate you. But, David, you're terrific, and I thank you so much. And um, it's, um, what is Muscle and Fitness? Is that the name of it? It's uh, Muscle and Body Magazine. Muscle yeah, and Muscle Body, and body get it right. at uh, Vitamin Shops. Mm -hmm. And David's got a column there that tells people how to get better. Exactly. Thank you. It's so good. You look so youthful, I'm telling you. Well, you know what, Pat? Honestly, it's, it's following a program like you have mm -hmm. uh, put out for uh, everybody following the 700 Club. It's a, you know, it's a very similar path, but your, your program really structures the right diet process, the right exercise regimen. And if people just do that you know, and take some balance in their life, mm -hmm. they'll, they'll feel better about themselves and they'll you know, uh, really get the benefits from it. I want them to be happy. Well, I thank you. And you're not done. So you're going you're gonna to go see Christy in a few minutes and show us some exercises. But David, Great. Thank God you very much you. for having me on the program. David Hogue, former Miss Universe, he's a terrific guy.